I'm pretty sure that you already heard that light can be polarized. But what does it mean? What is polarized light? Light is an electromagnetic wave. So let's draw a wave. Imagine that this wave is going towards the left. An electromagnetic wave is the oscillation of an electric field. If you need a reminder about this, you can check this video. Here, you are seeing the wave drawn on the board the way it is, because you are facing the board. What about me? What do I see when I look at the board from the edge? I see a wave coming towards me. I see an oscillation in the vertical plane coming towards me. Like my fingers representing a wave coming towards you. You see a vertical plane here with something oscillating coming towards you. Here, the wave of the board is oscillating in the plane of the board and only in the plane of the board. A wave which is oscillating in one plane only is said to be polarized. A polarized wave is represented by a segment with two arrows. You can draw an axis like this. And you see half of the segment is actually the amplitude. The two arrows represent the oscillation. You can represent a wave with the sine curve. And if you want to know where it's going, in other words, its direction of propagation, you can associate with it a velocity vector like this. Or, more simply, you can just draw a line with an arrow. This representation is called a ray. Like a ray of light. So, when you're looking at a source of light, let's imagine a lamp bulb, and your eyes here. You're receiving not one ray, but many rays converging towards your eyes. There is no reason why all these rays correspond to waves all oscillating in the same plane. Some of the waves might be oscillating vertically, some horizontally, and some with an angle. In that case, we say that the light is unpolarized. We can represent this unpolarized light with a cross, and then each tip of the cross there is an arrow. The horizontal double arrow represents the horizontal components of the oscillations, and the vertical double arrow represents the vertical components of the oscillations. In order to transform unpolarized light into polarized light, we need to make it pass through a polarizer. A polarizer is a device which has an axis of polarization. Here I choose it vertical. Only the components of the light which are parallel to the axis of polarization are allowed to pass. So what comes out of the polarizer is light oscillating in a direction which is parallel to the axis of polarization. In other words, the oscillation is within a plane which contains the axis of polarization. The light that comes out of the polarizer is therefore polarized because it's oscillating in one plane only. We have been talking about polarization within the scope of electromagnetic waves light, basically. But any transversal wave can be polarized, even mechanical ones. Let me show you an experiment that will give you a reality feel of what is polarization. This is my oven rack. It is made of parallel metallic bars, and it will make a great polarizer. I need a rope and I couldn't find a rope in the house. Yes, I need a rope to show you something. So I will use instead the cable of my electric bass guitar. I hope you don't mind, baby. It's for a physics experiment. By shaking the cable, I can create a wave oscillating in the horizontal plane, or a wave oscillating in the vertical plane. I can even produce a kind of crazy wave oscillating in many different planes at once. This is our improvised polarizer. 
I taped some white paper on one of the bars of the rack so that you can see the axis of polarization. I will pass a cable through it and set the axis of polarization horizontal. When I produce a horizontal wave, it's like if there was no polarizer. The wave passes fully. But when I try to create a wave oscillating vertically, nothing passes. Yes, the vertical wave has no horizontal component, so it is fully blocked. As for the crazy wave, difficult to, as you can see, only the horizontal component passes. I can rotate the axis of polarization, make it vertical. Now it is the horizontal component which is blocked. Only the vertical component passes. The green double arrow here represents a wave coming towards you. It's oscillating in a plane perpendicular to the board and in this direction. This plane is making an angle theta with the vertical plane perpendicular to the board. Imagine now that I place a polarizer between you and the wave. And I will choose the axis of polarization of this polarizer being vertical. Only the component which is parallel to this axis will pass through. That is this. What I represent in red here is the wave coming out of the polarizer. And you see that it's only the component parallel to this axis that passes through. This will be the amplitude of the output wave. This will be the amplitude of the incoming wave. You see that the amplitude decreased. The amplitude is directly related to how bright the light appears. So passing through a polarizer dims the light. In the next video, we will derive an equation that allows you to calculate by how much the light gets dimmer, depending on the angle at which the light comes in the polarizer. This one, the angle theta. That equation is central to polarization. It is called Malus Law. Don't worry, the math are quite easy. And it will be a cool video also. So stay tuned. Imagine yourself at an exam. You are reading the questions. Explain what is polarized light. Just answer. Polarized light is an electromagnetic wave for which the electric field is oscillating in one plane only. That should do it. You enjoyed this video? So like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your support really encourages me to shoot new videos. In the meantime, I wish you the best and I'll see you soon for the next episode of Physics Made Easy. Ciao.